so last time uh, uh, we were uh, learning uh, one four addition versus one two addition reaction nucleophilic one two addition versus nucleophilic one four addition in that one we have seen different parameters that uh, which components uh, they can undergo or which uh, uh, nucleophile they can undergo one two addition or which nucleophile they can they could prefer uh, to undergo one four conjugate addition reaction so this is direct addition reaction versus uh, direct addition one two addition reaction versus uh, conjugate one four addition reaction okay so we have seen several different factors they do affect on the uh, this type of reaction for one two addition versus one four addition reaction so in that one first factor is uh, structure of the starting material structure of the alpha beta unsaturated ketone uh depends upon different structures different starting materials different uh, uh, additions one two or one four addition can occur second factor that uh, uh, it affects the uh, reaction conditions so different reaction conditions affects on the reactions and uh, reaction conditions sometimes it defines or finalize uh, the uh, said reaction will undergo either one two addition reaction or one four addition reaction okay and third important factor which can control this addition reaction is nucleophile the types of nucleophile so we have seen that there there are three different types of nucleophile hard nucleophile soft nucleophile and neutral nucleophile now uh, again one basic thing again we will see now on the screen that what is one two addition so one two addition, one two addition to enone that is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so one two addition occurs nucleophilic one two addition occurs means it occurs across the carbon oxygen double bond so we have to number one two addition means uh, one number for carbon atom second number to the oxygen atom so this is addition we have to add, add nucleophile across this carbon oxygen double bond and this is nothing but the one two addition reaction and uh, uh, the again one more basic thing what is one four conjugate addition reaction so, okay so nucleophile is going to add at the one four position of the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds here uh, here alpha beta alpha position which is neck uh, which is adjacent to the carbon carbonyl group that is alpha position beta at the third third position from uh, second position from the carbonyl group so alpha beta saturated carbonyl group and nucleophile is getting attack uh, at first position and at the fourth position so how to number one fourth position to the alpha beta saturated carbonyl compound so in this case first position goes to the carbon carbon double bond second position to second carbon atom third one to carbonyl carbon atom and fourth position we, we can number to the oxygen of the carbonyl group so here we have seen that different nucleophiles hard nucleophile soft nucleophile they do add uh, either one to addition either to the carbonyl group uh, across the carbonyl group or one four addition that means nucleophile is attacking at the first position well, first position nucleophile is at, uh, adding and at the fourth position hydrogen is adding getting added okay so this is nothing but the one four addition so uh, we are going to see now example of grignard reagent how grignard reagent is uh, acts as a nucleophile and uh, how we can add the, that one either one two addition or by one for conjugate addition so we will see now how grignard reagent will add to the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound okay so this is here i have displayed the thing that uh, uh, grignard reagent i have mentioned over here grignard reagent has been added by one two addition reaction to the carbonyl carbon okay and the uh, one four addition reaction another reagent gelman reagent is getting added via one four conjugate addition pathway okay so two different pathway one two addition direct addition and uh, one four conjugate addition reaction so now we will see now how grignard reagent will add via one two addition pathway or via one four addition pathway so here now we will go for grignard reagent can uh, when grignard reagent acts as a nucleophile it can add by both way to the uh, electrophile or to the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound okay so it can act as via one two addition reaction in absence of copper salts 
and uh, it can undergo nucleophilic addition to the alpha beta associated carbonyl compound uh, one for addition conjugate addition in presence of copper salts okay so in this tabular form uh, i have i have written everything how the nucleophile what type of nucleophiles and how they can add with reduced selectivity to the alpha beta and such a carbonyl compound so here i have mentioned only grignard reagent only rmgbr acts as a nucleophile c minus acts as a nucleophile mm -hmm. that can undergoes direct addition one to addition but only grignard reagent cannot undergo one four addition reactions and the next one i have mentioned at the fourth place grignard reagent in presence of copper salts it will not add via one two pathway but rather it will add via one four addition pathway via conjugate addition to the alpha beta saturated carbonyl compound okay so this is the difference between the uh, how grignard will adds via one two or via one four addition pathway okay so we'll see now some examples uh, of the grignard reagent addition reaction of the grignard reactions okay grignard reagent so here uh, for one four conjugate addition copper salts uh, they played a very big role uh, for this one four conjugate addition reactions okay as a organometallic reagent copper salts we, if we will add to the uh, in uh, if we will add to the reaction mixture where already grignard is present so how that one is helping out grignard to add via one four conjugate addition pathway okay what is the exact role of copper first salt what is the exact role of copper as a catalyst copper in first oxygen state what that one is doing exactly how that one is helping out grignard uh, to add via conjugate addition reaction to alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so grignard reagents as directly to the carbonyl carbonyl group of alpha beta saturated aldehydes and ketones to give allylic alcohol okay so this is one to addition reaction so grignard reagent add directly only grignard reagents add directly via one to addition to give allylic alcohol allylic means uh, in alpha beta saturated carbonyl compound carbon carbon double bond at alpha beta position it remains intact and only grignard reagent adds to the carbonyl group and after hydrolysis after treatment with the uh, acidic uh, reagent uh, we can eliminate rm o, o minus mgbr so we can eliminate mgbr and o minus abstracts proton from that protic uh, solvent okay so in that way we got allylic alcohol uh, when we do add only grignard to the alpha beta such as a carbonyl compound okay so these grignard reagents we can say it's a hard nucleophile okay so this is hard nucleophile so that's why it prefers to attack the harder carbonyl group rather than the softer carbon carbon electrophilic center okay so as grignard reagent is harder nucleophile it adds to the harder carbonyl group that means harder means as grignard reagent is uh, very basic that means c minus is uh, highly it pk value is very high so it, it acts as a stronger base also okay it acts as a stronger base as well as stronger nucleophile so we can say that one is harder uh, nucleophile and uh, in carbonyl group carbon possess carbonyl carbon possess it's so highly electropositive so this highly electronegative adds to the highly electropositive carbonyl carbon so now in further example the addition of magnesium methyl magnesium atom we are going to take one example uh, how to add a reagent to the cyclic alpha beta such as a carbonyl compound cyclic ketone and how to uh, how we get the allylic alcohol okay so we will see the example of the this thing so here they have what they have done uh, example is the same reaction which very small amount of uh, copper salt okay copper chloride they have added that is only very small okay point not one equivalent that is one percent of copper salt they have added to the grignard reagent okay so this effect of copper is dramatic when we do add copper salt with grignard reagent what that copper e will act as a catalyst and 
how uh, that copper presence of that copper salt copper first oxygen state salt how that will really change in the uh, total drama of this addition reaction that one, one will see uh, on our next slide so this is the reaction of that how grignard reagent add uh, 